Hey guys, what's going on? So today we're here at the mansion. Me and Alex, he's over there. But we are at the mansion today. It's a two part or two building series. There's this one, which I think was like a kind of like a workout slash uh, or restaurant on the bottom and workout on top. And then the other one was the McNeil Mansion, which I'm pretty sure was either like some kind of restaurant or it was just a house. I'm not entirely sure. You guys will see for yourself and make the conclusions. But yeah, without being said, and further ado, Let's dive right into this video, guys. All right, guys, let's go. I'm pretty sure someone was in here last time we were in here for the simple fact that there was cups here and now there's not. That's kind of sketchy. I'm not going to fucking lie. So we got this over here. We got the chairs. Kind of cool. Soft shaker. Alright, let's go into this one. So here's what I like to call a lab. I know it's not a chem lab. Still, it's kind of cool looking. So there's that. Broken door. And here. Got all this stuff. Premix neutral base, mixing tank. Dope, dope. Broken table. Safer right here. Alex, come here. Come here. Why is that door open? Why is that door open? No, it wasn't. Yeah, we just couldn't tell because it was going Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty sure this is like a gym because it sells workout equipment around. Oh, man. Light falling down. Is that a crow? No, it's not. Bunch of trash. Don't imagine what this would smell like without a respirator. Let's go into the other rooms. So like I was just saying earlier, this is the gym, or lack room I should say, but as you can see, everybody just kind of left their stuff here for whatever unknown reason. Kind of crazy actually. Got some inhalers. And then over here, got a shower. Now we got mirror selfie again. Let's explore some about them, you know. Now to head out. Oh, what is this? Everyone's so full of shit. Smiley face. Very true statement. So, a little bit of history about this place. Um, pretty much, McNeil Mansion itself had a fire. And they quarantined the restaurant, or two restaurants, the McNeil Mansion, and 
one other, or a couple factories too. For God knows what reason. If I can go out this window, that'd be great. But, yeah, so they quarantined a whole section of this town just because there's a fire. Now, I don't know about you, but that just doesn't sound like plausible to me. How could you, hold on. How could you quarantine a whole entire town just because of a little fire from that building all the way into distance? It doesn't add up, it doesn't make sense. So that's why we're out here exploring it and seeing if we can uncover any of the mysteries. I hear people. I wish I heard people. It's coming from that side of the... Is it? Yeah. All right, guys, so basically, oh, focus. We hear people. We just heard people. That's never a good sign, especially in a location like this. Yeah, I mean, two mean two things. Sorry, my hair is really bad. Squatters or authority. Either one of those are not good. Or just people. Or just people, yeah. But the two, the two first ones are not good. So we found a way to the docks. We're gonna attempt to do it safely without, you know, having to get into a connection with anybody. So let's go. Oh, well, there's a way in. We have a window. Oh, so it's super broken. We have a way in there. Yeah, okay. Let me show you guys the restaurant. Sorry, Alex. So I think we're good for now. I heard people over there's a building over there that we thought was abandoned. But I guess isn't. So that's like sketchy as fuck. But in other in other things. Here's the docks. So pretty. Yeah, this is probably one of the more pretty places I've ever been to. Like, what was this at one point? Obviously, a restaurant, but like, this kind of makes you wonder about the history of this place. Where its roots are and everything, you know? I don't want to go too far because there's like a state police water treatment over that way. So, that'll probably not be the best way to go. Alright, guys, so we got good news. Ugh. So, those people that we heard weren't actually workers, that was just people boating. We didn't see them, they didn't see us. But we could hear them like coming down the stream. Oh, I can hear them really loud now. So, it's a good thing that it's not people. That's like the worst thing to run into on these things is people. Really, really terrifying. But with that being said, I think me and Alex, I'm gonna go into this building now. Here, I'm hand you my camera. Holy shit. It's recording. Thank you. Shit. Well, this is another room. Another room we never got to visit yet. Yeah, this is the cafe. Baseball hats, $14. Alright. Oh yeah, I see it over there. That's all boarded up. Oh shit.
All right, guys. Welcome to the McNeil Mansion. Let's go in, shall we? And we're in. All right, guys. So welcome to the McNeil Mansion. Now you can't really see much right now, but yeah. So stairwell right there. There's Alex. Bunch of mechanical stuff. That would have hurt if you fell down there. There's also one up above too. Which is terrifying on its own. Turn back now. Whoa, boy. Okay, I'm out. I'm out. Basically, the floor when I stepped down, like dipped in. That was terrifying. So, this is what the McNeil Mansion looked like. It has all the sights and everything. That's so cool. So I had a conference and cat in ca uh, catering area. I found dining, a bistro and a tavern. And over here it had wow. Mar Mariana Slips, hotel suites, and valley parking. So this must have been a hotel of some sort. This if that's the case. Huge. This is so cool. It's so nice. From what it used to be at least, it was so nice. Wow. Ooh. It's all brighter up here too. So, this is the first floor. I don't even need my flashlight for. But as you guys can see, it's, it's all, all the ruins. It's kind of cool I like, could find places like this though. I mean, it's kind of weird of thinking of where all these doors went. These doors. It's kind of weird. It's a broken out window over there. It's crazy just because it's like... There's window panes over there. Exactly, like, like he was saying. It's crazy how something like, that's quote unquote fire damaged, but yet, Where's the fire damage? But even something like that's like, yeah, you know, I see the the ceilings coming down, but like, where's the fire damage at? There's another little room in here. Oh, there's something I did want to show you guys in here. So, if you walk into this room over here, right? You walk in. It looks like a fucking jail cell. Like, look at this. That is absolutely terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Like, that's just not right, man. Unreal. Well, there's all the fire damage. Oh. There's all the fire damage. That's ridiculous, man. Hey guys, alright, so real quick. Pretty much, we found a billboard that pretty much says that this was a hotel and a bunch of other things, which I never knew. Alex never knew. That's crazy, right? A little fire brought all this down. It's absolutely mind-boggling. But my camera's about to die, so I'm gonna try and take as much as I can before it dies.
it's just crazy how something this big with just such a small fire could just shut everything down. Hey guys, so this is the end of the video. We're now walking out. I just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching. It really means a big deal to me. I'm sure with Alex's videos, it means a lot to him too. We get to do what we love every day, which is this, or every week, I should say. But with that being said, we're gonna get out of here and edit the videos. So once again, thank you guys for watching. If you like this, like the video, if you wanted to have a little discussion, put it in the comments down below and other suggestions you want me to go. And if you liked what you've seen and you want to see more, subscribe to me and I'll post Alex's, Alex's YouTube channel in the description. All right, that being said, I'm out of here guys. Peace out.